It is almost yard sale season. I'm so excited. We've already been to our first yard sale and I'll tell you guys just a little bit about that, but we're going again this weekend. So before we kind of jump into the season, I really wanted to share with you the things that are on my list. So I have some ironing to do, so I thought that I would just sit down and chat with you guys about what is on my list and the things that I hope to find this season. So the way I feel about making a yard sale list is very similar to how I feel about uh, making a meal plan or you know setting your clothes out the night before, anything that's kind of preparatory like that, that's how I feel about making a yard sale list. If I go into yard sales blind or go into a thrift store blind, a lot of times it can feel very um, overwhelming. It's hard to figure out what to focus on. It's also very easy if you don't know what your eye is naturally drawn towards in terms of personal style, in terms of your home, or if you don't know the needs of your home. It can be very easy to say, oh, that's pretty, or that's cool, or that's useful, but is it pretty? in terms of what you are using in your home. You know, is it cool in terms of it's cool for you personally and useful, you know, yes, it's a useful tool. Are you actually going to use it? It's one of those things that I think really being specific is important. I think my list this year is more specific than it has ever been. For example, I looked at my list for last year and it said hats. And this year I have a specific color and even a specific brand that I'm searching for. Now, you never know what you're gonna find. Will I find that specific brand and that specific color? I don't know. But I know that that's very much what I'm looking for. That's the aesthetic, that's the fit. And so I have this really narrow idea of what I want. And if I have to expand on that a little bit, that's fine. But there's a real difference in saying I want a side table and in saying I want a side table that is round and a walnut color. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. Another thing that I did this year that I've not done before is that I actually grouped my list by categories. So the things we're going to go through today are accessories, clothing for the kids, and then home and school. I do not just use yard sales for decorative items or for kids clothing. I really view yard sales and thrift stores as my main way of shopping. So if we have a very real functional need, I will put that on my list. If I have more of an aesthetic like style need, that will go on my list. All right, so I'm going to start with accessories and clothing first. Doing a capsule wardrobe as I have done for the past oh goodness, almost a year now, that has really helped me to be very specific about what I am looking for. And so I'm not really tempted as much as I used to be whenever I go to a yard sale and I see something that catches my eye. I will look at it, but then I know if I pick this up and if I bring it into my home, that's one more piece of clothing that I have. And likely I'm gonna have to let something go in place of it. So that has allowed me to be really specific when it comes to what I am searching for. So as far as accessories, I mentioned a hat. I did find a beige hat at Walmart and I've worn that in a few of my videos recently. Um, but Kristen Labarusik, I think that's how you say her name on Instagram, she found a beige Ralph Lauren hat at a thrift store. Uh, I feel like people say that I have really good luck secondhand shopping, but gosh, she has really good luck. And I would really love to have that hat or something very similar. So that's something that I'm looking for. Uh, Birkenstock sandals. I did just buy a new pair of sandals, but I really like that classic Birkenstock style. I think that it can just look very effortless, especially with like, um, just like a neutral short sleeve top. Uh, it could be, you know, collared or just a regular top and then some light wash jeans. I think that Birkenstocks just look really classic in that way. Um, so that's on my list. And then also I'd like to get a pair of white sneakers. I have had a version of like Keds. They're like a knockoff brand of Keds for the past little while. And they just, even with like Scotch Guard, they still get really stained. I almost think that I would like to have like more of a wipeable pair of white sneakers, but anyway, just a pair of white sneakers. 
And that's it. Those are the accessories that are on my list. Okay, now as far as clothing, uh, I'm still on search for a camel coat for the fall and winter. Uh, I would like something that is more of a straight fit and not super tailored in the middle. I would also like to find a pair of basic leather riding boots, something that doesn't have a lot of embellishments, not buckles or anything like that, but just something that would be a very classic boot that I could kind of switch things up in the fall and winter. I would also like to find a pair of vintage Levi's, which would also require me knowing what size I wear in Levi's. I don't currently know what that would be. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this dress in our Easter picture, but I had not really made a plan for what the kids were going to wear for Easter. And I went to a consignment store and I didn't have any luck there for Abram, but I found this for Andy. I think I paid $7.50 for it. I think the carrots, the flutter sleeve, and then it's got a little cross in the back here, kind of like that uh, apron sort of style. I love a dress like this and it was so precious. She got so many compliments on it. And uh, of course, you know, the first thing that I would tell people was I found it at a consignment store because that kind of thing just really excites me. Okay, continuing on with clothing, I also wouldn't mind having a half zip pullover in a color that looks good on me. Um, I, I tried that turquoise one and it's fine. I just don't know that it really is me. Um, it's still in the closet. I haven't gotten rid of it, but I'd love to find something that just felt a little more me that was a half zip pullover. The perfect turtleneck. So a turtleneck that is not too thick, not too thin, one that is probably cotton, um, maybe cashmere, just a good, you know, couple of solid turtlenecks for the fall and winter. I had a blue and white striped button up on here, but my mother-in-law actually gave me one, so I can mark that off my list. Uh, I'd like to find a pair of army green pants. I had shared in my spring capsule video, like kind of a couple things that were on my inspiration list, that there was a green kind of wide leg pair of trousers, and I'd like to find something like that. And then I just put blouses in yellow, green, and pale pink. That's as, about as vague as this list gets. Everything else is pretty specific. But again, if I get one of those things, then I know that something else is gonna have to get the boot. So that makes me very selective. But in the spring, I love wearing pale pink. And then I'm excited to kind of incorporate a little bit of green and yellow too. I had long floral dresses, but I did end up keeping a couple of those thread up dresses. And you'll get to see that in my like capsule video. So I can also take that off. And then I am still on the search for a short sleeve white button down. I was really thinking that I wanted just uh, like a button down with a collar and I still really like that. But I found this one on Pinterest and I kept coming back to this style. So honestly, I don't think I'd mind having both. I think I would like to have like a looser fitting, um, almost like a safari vibe, you know what I mean? Um, like not, <laughs> not completely that, but just that idea, that vibe. Um, I feel like it's a very Gap, J. Crew kind of top. Um, but I'd like to have that. And then maybe one of the ones that's a little more of a V-neck like that one had. Maybe with a little flutter sleeve, because I love a flutter sleeve. Alright, I have a couple things on the list for the kids. Uh, I've just written down their shoe sizes because... Those guys keep growing. I don't know. They just keep growing and I cannot keep track of who has what size foot. So I just have their shoe sizes on there just in case I find a pair that's really cute. That way I don't have to go. I can't remember what their shoe size is. Uh, and then also um, just a couple of clothing needs for them. Now I, I won't go into everything, but just a few areas in their closet that They've got a couple of holes. When you're making your list, if you have children in your house, this is also a really good time to look at their wardrobes for the upcoming season or the season beyond that. You know, you can kind of look at the year at a glance and just look and see, you know, will our clothes from last summer fit us this summer? You know, if not, then that's something we can be looking for. We can be looking for holiday books, holiday outfits, um, 
you know, some of those things that are kind of an annual thing. And if your kids are growing rapidly, they may not be able to fit in last year's selections. I will say I have gotten away this year with doing quite a few of Andy's dresses as tunics and just adding some little leggings underneath. So I'm sure that that's a hack that most parents are familiar with. But if you're not, uh, if you have a daughter, try her last season dresses with leggings. You might be able to make it a tunic and get another year out of it. All right, and the last category is home and school. So I just put useful homeschool items. We are ever evolving, ever changing as a homeschool, but I have kind of gotten to the point where I sort of know what things are going to be useful and what things aren't. I tend to like items that are a little more open-ended that I don't have to use for just one specific purpose. For example, I bought some blocks last year at a yard sale and they were dry erase. I'd gotten them, they were originally from the Target dollar spot and I got them at a yard sale. And I thought they would be really great for math and counting and addition and subtraction. But now that I have been doing this enough, I would rather have blocks or some of those counting bears that we used to use in school. Something like that where we can use it for many things, not just for this one purpose. I would like to get a small clock or maybe a couple of small clocks to fit on a shelf. We actually don't have any analog clocks in our house right now. And we actually don't have any digital clocks. Our stove is super duper old and it has a clock timer thing on it that I've yet to figure out how to work. And we usually just use our phones or the TV for the time, but I would really love to get a couple of small analog clocks, maybe in a brass or something like that. A clothes drying rack. And I may even get a clothes line. I used to have one and we left it hooked to a tree at our last house, um, but I didn't use it all that much, but I kind of feel like I would use it more now. And even if I didn't do that, I think I would like some sort of drying rack that I can fold out and then put away in the house. So that's on there. I set a small clock to sit on a shelf. I also might like a wall clock with some kind of character. I feel like though it would have to be just the right thing. And that's one of those, I don't even know what I'm looking for yet. So I can't really say what, what it is because I'm not sure. We have a little area in our bedroom that has a chair and right now it's just a rocking chair I wouldn't mind having a little like armchair like a reading nook chair but it would have to be a very small footprint it would have to be just the right chair because it's not a very large space at all so that's on there uh, also pretty lamps just a pretty pair of lamps in general I still like the ones in our bedroom but um, you know just always open to you know changing that and to go right along with that I would like to find this is a big ask I would like to find some round side tables bedside tables that are in a wooden finish I think because our bed frame is black and our nightstands are black and the frames over the bed are black um, I think I would like to add a little bit of contrast and I think I would like to do that with a a natural wood Actually, the table that is in our living room that's between the two wingback chairs, the finish of that table is pretty textbook what I'm looking for. I would love for it to have a drawer, but I think something like that in the bedroom could be very nice. Um, another big ask, but I'm just going to have it on the list in case I come across it, is I think eventually we would like to put some glass French doors in the bathroom between the bathroom and the bedroom and i would like for them to be in a wood finish as well i think that that would look really pretty so i'm going to figure out what measurements we would need and just have that in my phone so that if we come across some you know i'll be ready on that note you know we were talking about having your kids sizes in the note in your phone i think it's also a really good idea to have a small measuring tape with you it's not something that I've been good at in the past, and this year I'm just gonna go ahead and put one in my purse so that way I have it. Okay, last two things here, uh, brass wall hooks and brass frames. Those are things that I'm just always kind of looking for to tuck here and there. Um, and then curtains or beautiful fabric to make curtains with. And again, I think that will just kind of be a know it when I see it kind of thing. I don't really have a specific color or pattern that I'm looking for with that.
I mentioned that we went to our first yard sale last week and I wanted to share with you what I purchased. So one thing that I didn't put on this list is that I am always looking for organizing and storage solutions at yard sales. So one of the projects that we are working on is organizing our shed. I'm not going to show it to you before or after because it's just it's just a lot. <laughs> Ideally the way that our renovation would have worked is clean out the house, renovate the house, move in, you know, and it would be very linear like that. But because of some circumstances and family having to help go through things in the house and um, just life and time commitments on our part and uh, lack of time really on our part, the steps were kind of overlapped. And so we did the best we could, but all that to say, you know, out in the shed, we have our fridge, we have an overflow pantry, that's where all of the, the tools and outdoor things are, that's where everything that would have been in our attic, so like holiday decorations and kids clothes, and then there's still, you know, maybe a third of it is still full of my grandparents things, and so I really want to take care in going through that. So we're working on organizing that area, and one decision I made was that I want to try to transition all of our bins to clear bins. I really want to be able to see at a glance what is in there. And when we went to yard sales this past week, they had a lot of those Sterilite containers and then also some that actually function as drawers. And it's not a stackable unit. You can stack the drawers, but they are each separate. So I purchased two medium-sized drawers, one small drawer, and a clear Sterilite container with a lid. And for all of that, I paid $2.50, which I feel like is a really great deal. I'm going to put the price comparison here because you guys know that I always love to see how much money I actually saved. So I'm going to get those washed up and put them to use as we are organizing the shed. But I thought the drawers in particular would be really nice for organizing tools, you know, painting supplies, um, like batteries or things like that, or maybe dog accessories like collars and brushes, leashes. So yeah, I didn't feel like $250 was too bad for that. So anytime that I find good clear bins or baskets that have a lot of character that I could store something in. Uh, little drawer organizers, if there's a drawer that is kind of unruly and things don't have categories. I love looking for things like that at yard sales. So I didn't actually have it on my list, but it's something that's just kind of programmed in my brain and I always look for those. All right, you guys, well, that is my 2024 yard sale list. I would love to hear in the comments if there's anything that you guys are looking for this season. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon.